I think I'm to saying a few words about <laughs> our speaker, Rafe Pomeran. So I know I've had the real privilege of knowing Rafe for several years now. I got to know him when I was in uh, Washington, D.C. a few years ago um, at the National Science Foundation. I lived there for a few years. But um, I know many of his biographical details, but I got online and got on Google today and, <laughs> and uh, Rafe Pomeran's bio. And uh, one of the first things I stumbled upon was uh, let me read a quote. Rafe is a longtime climate activist who is always looking for ways to move the issue. And I thought that summarized he is always looking for ways to move the issue. He's looking for the levers to pull to enact change. And that, that summarized it fantastically well. Um, a few more biographical details. Uh, from 1980 to 1984, Rafe was the president of Friends of the Earth. From there, he went to the World Resources Institute where he was Senior Associate for Climate Change. World Resources Institute is in D.C., right next to Capitol Hill, so very strong interactions with what's going on in the Hill. From there, he moved to the State Department. Rafe was Deputy Assistant Secretary for Environment and Development, and climate change was a big part of the, for his portfolio at the State Department, and I suspect he'll tell us uh, much more about that during his presentations. In 1999, he left the State Department and founded the Climate Policy Center, <laughs> And currently, he is the chair of Arctic 21, which is a consortium of, of NGOs that are uh, working to understand the changes going on in the Arctic, particularly as related to climate change and what it means globally. Rafe is also a senior Arctic policy fellow at the Woods Hole Research Center. Uh, some of you may have seen this. Who recognizes this? So this is the New York Times magazine from August 1st of this year. The entire issue uh, of, of this, this issue of the uh, New York Times magazine was related to climate change, the title of the article, which doesn't even show up on the front. I think it was the longest article ever published by the New York Times. Was losing her the decade, we almost stopped climate change. Right. And Rafe was a central character in this. So if you haven't read it, I recommend you do. It's available online. Uh, now back to that quote I read at the very beginning. Again, Rafe is a longtime climate activist who is always looking for ways to move the issue. I read a little bit farther on this site <laughs> online. Um, it says this person was writing, I was at a fundraiser this morning and Rafe Pomeranz approached Don, John Podesta about trying to organize around the effects of climate change on South Florida. I think Rafe may say something about Florida, but John Podesta, that got my attention. Then I looked a little bit farther and I realized I was on Wikipedia and I was reading from one of the emails that were had from John Podesta's account right before the 2016 election. So uh, with that, Rafe, take it away. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 